Like a kid in the candy store, like, hey, take my picture. <laughs> Man, I could get a Raptor. Yes. It's absolutely insane how it feels. Look at that. Wow. All right, guys, good morning. As you can see, we got the Raptor behind us. We're starting off power toward day five. So it's been one hell of a, of a journey. And the only thing I could say. Is it, it's a ton of work on our end to be able to produce these videos and get them out for you guys. So the only thing I ask is you like the video, you subscribe to the channel, you go down below and check out my merchandise, and you check out the companies that support me. So but yeah, we have a uh, kind of head down here. Check out some of these. So I made an entire video with this. I don't know. It'll, it'll definitely go up after this video. So if you want to see all these cars down here and all those cars in there, then you definitely don't want to subscribe and check it out. And turn the post notifications on so when I drop it, I'll be the first to know. But this is uh, this is cool. So, at least half of the stuff in here is hard code and code, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, as long as I take some photos of the truck, I can guarantee it. But, and then uh, I'm gonna take some photos of a car right there that I want. I can see them all a little bit better. And th this was the R code formal roof, formal roof car. Yeah. It's kind of weird. You would never think anyone would want a 427 with a hard top and not, or formal roof instead of a fastback. R code was a 420 Cobra Jet. It was it like a shaker hood or anything too? It was a shaker. Our code was a shaker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah, cool. Cute code. It would have been a cute code if it was a non-shaker. Oh, got it. That's how that works. Someone's like, I'm gonna go take photos of the other trucks. All right. So this was the T-Bird with the tonneau cover, the factory tonneau, and then this is the 60. I keep. Why do I keep forgetting? This was the 68. You said. Yeah. This was the 68. This is a Royal Maroon. S code 394 speed Reno GT. See the GT. Someone at one point painted it black years and years and years ago, and it kind of faded into this amazing patina that it has. It's full to the brim. There's a ton of parts there, but it's not perfect. You know, the lead seam is usually garbage on these cars, like it is on my Galaxies, but I know how to fix it now. That's always nice. But yeah, just look at the character of this thing. I mean, it's a little more rough than most. Like most people would probably. Re respray this car, but so and then this is a 68 fastback. You can see the front clip right there, and obviously the roof line. And then those cars we couldn't see last night, so 64 convertible, two of them. So this one's the R code, and this one's the donor car for it. Don't know what that one is. And then you got a 65 Comet Caliente convertible right there. And then it uh, looks like a Mercury, probably another 427 car. A lot of these are, but. Um, yeah, and then it's 57 T-Birds, 67 Fairlane over there, two of them. This one's a 427 four-speed car, and this one's the donor car for it. And then this is the Dan Gurney Cougar. So it is a XR7. I think it's a 67. Uh, oh, it is a 67, yeah, wow. This is really cool then. Black, kind of a red stripe. It's kind of cool. It just kind of sucks to see a lot of these cars sitting, but you, know, not a, you can't fix them all, right? So, but yeah, yeah, this thing's super straight too. This would buff out so nice. Doesn't look like it has a dent in it either. I think long term it would be super sick to have this thing and take it to like Ford Fest or even a hot rod power tour and kind of fly out, get the thing running in like three, four days and driving. Only wheels, tires, suspension, brakes, and make the thing run and actually go drive it and just leave it the way it is so it looks like hell and you just go drive the thing. I think that would be exactly what I would do with it. I wouldn't even paint this car. I think the character alone is cooler because it's pretty damn straight too, so. I wish I could get over there and kind of show you a little bit more. It's just, it's so tight in here, but I at least wanted to show you it in the daylight. So you can see it's what it is, but the fact it is a fastback and it's black and it's a big block four speed. And we did find the dual point distributor for it up in the building. So basically all the OG stuff for this car he has, which is even better. And uh, I think this thing with some cheater slicks out back and some skinnies up front would be pretty sweet. Some snapper springs. Oh yeah, this would be a fun car. But for now, I'll put you back to sleep. But I was joking with Rod, and this car has been sitting since 2020 technically, because they knew I wanted it. He shipped it out here, and the car has been sitting the last three years. We were kind of both shocked at how long ago it's been since we did all this. And then the photos on my phone were early May 2020, and now it is June 2023. So I was kind of telling him, I was like, man, it's been sitting for three years, you know? I'll come out, I'm ready. So, but yeah, hopefully we get to see this car again in the near future. But either way, it's nice to know it's safe underneath the building. 
So as we're starting off the final day of Power Tour, I wanted to remind you guys that this entire video series is sponsored by Heat Shield Products. And I talk about them all the time because their stuff works and I believe in what they make. They're an American-made local company to me and their products speak for themselves. It's all made in-house right here in San Diego, California. They make everything from turbo blankets to sparkler blues to header wrap to sound deadening to insulation to firewall wraps and much, much, much more. And if you guys are interested in checking out their products and you have any sort of car build or truck build that you're doing, definitely look into getting Heat Shield Products on your vehicle. It can save your vehicle's life. I've seen so many things where lines and fittings and pieces are in very tight to reach hot areas. And because of that, the stress from getting hot and cold so many times will cause them to start to be brittle and eventually fracture and breaks open. And then you have something like an engine fire that burns your car to the ground. Lots of heat shield products will take upwards of 1200 to 1500 degrees consistently to where you could put your hand on the other side and you wouldn't even feel it. On top of that, most of their products are made with volcanic rock. If you know anything about volcanic rock, it will take some serious heat. You can check out Heat Shield Products' Instagram down below where they post a lot of their social media on updates and they're doing. We're gonna be doing a giveaway for you guys also in the next couple of months, so you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out and not wanna miss that. We'll select someone to get us a gift certificate to Heat Shield Products and you can get a bunch of Heat Shield products for your vehicle without any cost to you. You can also go down below and check their website out. You can browse through their products, check out their Instagram, and they also have a YouTube channel if you wanna see the products in action, I'll have that down below as well. So that being said, I wanted to give you a massive thank you to Heat Show Products for making this entire trip possible. As hard as the work was to get the daily videos out, or as daily as I could make them, I definitely appreciate the companies and the people that came on board to help make it happen. So that being said, let's get back into the video. Oh yeah, you guys are definitely not going to want to miss this video when I drop it. It is nuts. Oh, it's, it's cool. This collection is super, super cool. You'd have to be a real, real smart guy, a nosy I guess, to remember. I've seen all these cars before. Could, could you probably guess it? If you've been around since 2020 on my channel, you can guess it. Dude, basically the same thing. Basically the same thing. Yeah. We were just talking about how uh, I think you and Jacob and Dylan need to help him get his uh, 64 going. Yeah? Is there more in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can make it do right now, something like that. Mm -hmm. days. Did he, you know, I'm sure you know the whole story on that thing. That one? The car itself, not really. My dad bought the, the 427 car you're talking yeah, about. The yeah, the convertible. Yeah. He bought that car in a junkyard in Palm Springs. My mom and him were on a little vacation, <laughs> weekend vacation. Yeah, yeah. But the deal was my mom, my dad would take my mom to to this place, a certain place, if he got to walk walk the yards in Palm Springs on Sunday nice. before they came back. And so he was walking the yard and he walked through and it was it was stacked three high. It was the third one up and it was gonna be crushed that day. Wow. And um, and he saw it and he looked up and he saw the cast iron headers, you know, I mean above his head. And uh, he's like, he's like, man, this thing's got cast iron headers on it. And then he saw the 427 badge on the side, and he walked up to the front and he bought that car for 600 bucks. Oh my! But I, what exactly gosh. is it? But I was six. You told so, me, but you didn't tell this camera. Oh, it's a 64 Galaxy XL 500 427 dual quad four speed convertible. <laughs> And it's a convertible. So what, what he meant to say is, it's a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but yeah. Like I was, like I was saying, this entire video series that we filmed with the, what's here is is gonna be cool. But that's just a just a little, little bit. But you can see that the cars here are crazy. But, but before my, I like, told him before my dad died, um, he asked me what cars I wanted, you yeah. know, for the trust that they were doing, and I told him I wanted the 406 Galaxy and I wanted the 427 car. I promised my dad. I promised my dad I'd build that car to the best of my ability. Yeah. I would never sell it unless my kids couldn't eat. Huh. You know? So we. He collected NOS parts. I mean, he bought that car when I was six, and he never built it. And then, uh, and he collected NOS parts for that thing for 30 years. And uh, I, in fact, I'm still collecting NOS parts. In fact, you saw the one oh, box. Yeah. The one box in there said 64 Galaxy yeah. backup lights NOS. Yeah. I bought those. I bought that last year, and then my sister got me all the exterior moldings. For that car yeah out of california this last Trying year to put as much nos on it versus Absolutely, repuff yeah. stuff yeah. so not like the repuff stuff's bad especially when it's ford tooled but it's right. just that extra level i guess right so. well i've got i've got carpet seat covers door panels am fm radio nos i've got all the gauges the grill all the exterior moldings accessory rocker moldings jackie jones said that he was going to get me the uh the quarter trim panels he has those nos oh cool and he said he said i could have those but it's just Whatever I can find. Yeah. I mean, I, in fact, I just bought a I just bought a horn relay from work. So oh. C4AZ thirteen eight fifty three A horn relay because it's NOS in the box. So Dan, you know, yeah, 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 it'll work. Something you know, as small as that, man. That's cool. We are starting off the day. Oh, we got Waffle House. The right way, baby. Oh yeah, here. We gotta show them how excited you are because we're here for you, buddy. Dude, I'm like a kid in the candy store. Like, here, take my picture. <laughs> hey, this is this should be your thumbnail, here. <laughs> Wait, we, let's get the truck in it. 
Alrighty, made our way over to Streetside Classics. I've never been here, but he said it's like a dealership for classics. It's like the CarMax. But it's, is it like hot rods or is it like stock OE stuff or just everything? Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> I'll see what this place is all about. Oh my goodness. Didn't I tell you? I like this. Ooh, it's a Fox body. <laughs> all these classic cars, Fox body. <laughs> That's nice. I like this a lot. See, wouldn't it be cool if I had enough money to just fly out, buy one of these, and take it off my resort? For $25,000, you can have this. And it's nice. And it's a, this is the nicest for I. And it's five lug already. Even though it's not actually that up. Fastback, let's see what this one is. Waiting inspection. This one's not even for sale. Wow, it kind of just, a little bit of everything quite a bit. Trucks, Jeeps, and Chryslers, and Pontiacs, and Fords, and Chevys, and Fastbacks, and yeah. A little bit of everything, wow. This is something. This is sweet. So this is kind of like, no, nah, my Galaxy is nicer than this. Look at those car sets. The wheels don't fit. Fit and sucks. This one's 35,000. This has really cheap interior. Yeah. A little 67? I put on it. This looks good. I like that. Yeah, this thing's sweet. Another 67. This thing's, I see Mustang wheels. It's got a Crown Vic front clip. $43,000, and it's a 4.6, single air brake head, so this, this is literally an entire Crown Vic. Oh my gosh, yeah. Full Crown Vic dash. I'm not really a fan of that, but I get it. It sits kind of high in the back, so the stance really sucks. But man, it's, I mean, you're talking a $2,000 Crown Vic, and even if this was a long bed, which it looks like it probably started because they filled the body line in the back, the seam is filled, so if it was a long bed F100, you're looking for two to three grand for that. You have two to three grand for the Crown Vic. You're putting together, you're maybe in this thing like 10 grand for the whole thing. Maybe, probably closer to five if you're smart. Well, the body and paint was a decent amount. And you're turning a $10,000 investment into $44,000. That's wild. I believe that's a 944 turbo. Then you got a vanilla ice special, five liter, five speed, red interior, sunroof. Big photos, not for sale. Damn, I'm really curious what they would ask for this. This car is probably, if I had to guess, they're gonna ask between 25 and 30 grand for this. It's, I don't think it's worth that. I'm the weird guy that doesn't think a Fox body should be more than a $20,000 car if it's just a five liter five speed. If it's an SVO and it's special edition, or if it's an SVT Cobra, or if it's, you know, some sort of special Celine or something like that, then I could see it going into the 30 plus, but there's no reason a plastic Fox body that twists its own chassis because they're built so poorly to be worth over $25,000. But nevertheless, I get it. They're kind of unicorns at this point. If this one's, this one's definitely been resprayed, but if it's original, I can see it bringing the money, but it's still a really nice car. You definitely, definitely not gonna catch me spending 25 grand on a Fox body, put it that way. Hey, I've got over a hundred cars. I mean, I love these guys. There's some great guys down here, but I think we're sitting on a gold mine, Craig. Yeah, you're, I think right. you're right. Look at that. Yeah, this they want thirteen thousand for this twenty three hundred dollar truck. <laughs> <laughs> so much, so many actually booping and hitting another another number at the end and kind of rounded up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we got twelve hundred. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, this one's much better. Craig, because, I think we should buy this, dude. This okay? This you one. This one. Get like. this. Finish power tour. I mean, it's only six hours, and then drive it to Atlanta. <laughs> or do I need a gallon? I think you need a galaxy and then I can build it for you. Corinthian white. Look at the interior of this thing. This is nice. This is really nice. And I'm like, why is it priced so well? And he's like, it's rusty. What? Excuse me, sir. No, it's not. This looks beautiful. <laughs> this thing's sweet. I like this thing a lot. This would be badass. Dude, this thing on some Detroit's would be pretty ball. Laid out. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Bro, look at the roof. It's not rusty at all. I love that he said that it's rusty. Yeah, that's a that's, that's adorable. Is this the, the most amount of rust in the whole thing? Oh my god, this thing's like that sweet. That's solid too. Wow. I like this. Look at this behemoth. Hey, behemoth. She's a unit. Look, look at the uh, this is a spicy unit right here. Yeah. That sunglasses tan doing work right now. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Yeah, why is it so cheap? He's like it's rusty. I'm like, brother, this is not rusty. Look at that roof line. That is I mean, perfect. Look, it does make you dirty. Even the bottom of the doors are perfect. Dude, you can totally like clean wow. up. I love that interior. It's so Look at that dad. I know. The red. All right. 
This is pulling everything out. Ninety-seven, ninety-nine. Oh, oh, come on! It's a ten thousand-dollar vehicle. I don't have that much in the bank. Right. Bag. Right around here. This that'd actually be a hell of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. I mean, realistically, this one. We we did talk to a little bit. They have it marked up. So oh. we'll have we'll have Michael run you through the process. It makes the price make more sense. Yes, I get it. Is there a cash discount? Hundred dollar bills right now. <laughs> cash doesn't mean much difference. I'm sorry. Yeah. Does it come with the grease? <laughs> but they made it the valve cover shoulder once more. This is sick. I didn't even see this out of the corner. So this is a Stegia. If you guys didn't know, if I go to the back of this thing, these are really cool. Uh, this is literally an RB25. Uh, 2.5, straight six. And if you come to the back of this thing, you might, eh, this one's an older one, so you probably won't really recognize it. But the newer version of this car, it's more squared off is a R34. So it's all wheel drive, has the same motor, has all the same platform parts. So what a lot of these guys will do is they put the R34 GTR front clip on it and you now have an R34, well GTR, GTST, whatever, wagon, which is even cooler. So the stages are really badass. You can import these things. And if you wanted a wagon R34, this is how the car you would use it to build it. So these are pretty cool. This is funny, I looked at this thing. This thing's really nice, by the way. These cars are But I noticed the gauges. They weren't, like they were bought before they <laughs> made sure they fit. And they're just kind of sitting out like that. And it's like, yeah, that works. That works. You can just leave them like that. <laughs> okay, so you got four by, crew cab, S10. I was told it has like 30 something hundred miles on it. But it's still, mind you, S10. Oh my goodness, S10, full drive. Man, I could get a Raptor. I could die. <laughs> this is ra Wait, the Raptor money. Who's? Who's your customer? The old guy. That's really into four-door S10s? Really into four-door S10s, yes. I mean, it's nice, but... Yeah, you so, could buy a Raptor. Sometimes unicorns are unicorns because nobody wants them. Yes, right. But, whatever. Uh, it's still nice. Yeah. I would be I would be shocked if someone's paying that much money for this. I actually do fit. However, I can't see out the window. I think I, if you hit anything, your knees yeah, are going oh through yeah, the you, ass you, and you your head's going through the windshield. You hit a cat and you die. Instead of looking out the window, I just see the roof. <laughs> it's just it's all right. You got side windows. Yeah. Here, let me let me give you my point of view. Yes. Yes. Where's, where's, yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> all righty. Gonna change it up. Are the uh, right? Me. I'm sorry. I got it. <laughs> all right, guys. We're gonna change it up. We're going with Andrew and his Voodoo swapped GTS 550. And uh, this thing sounds sweet. So. Let me in. Thanks, man. Oh my gosh, air conditioning this time. Oh, what a concept. Ah, it sounds so good. Not bad. Screw Gen 1 kind of. These are just, these are just go, everyone's just go right to these. Five, two, four. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, where that's where it's at. That's where it's at.
I don't vape, I'm sorry. Nice, hood delete, I like it. Those don't run hot, they're new. Only down, going down the highway, man. Really? It's the only time it freaking wants to get warm. That doesn't, weird. that doesn't even make any sense. I even tried shutting off the fans to see if it was blocking the flow. So but when you're stopped and the fans pull in air, you're fine. Yeah, at idle, I'm great. <laughs> like going through the mountains right there, I was idling almost 90% of it. And I was at like 208. As soon as you put it in gear and start wanting to drive, 220. That's weird. Huh. Well, I guess that's one way to fix it. Nice. Yeah. Hey, there you go. <laughs> All right, finished up in this thing. Oh, there, cruise in. Look at these things. Good old square bodies. You ready to do your photo shoot right here? What do you want to? You want a photo shoot? No, I'm saying. Look at your backdrop, dude. I'm surprised you haven't done a photo shoot right I here. I guess I should take a picture. <laughs> I've been slacking on the media creation. I know, man. Things. I've just been working hey, on people's cars. Oh, well, hey. I just took one from the front. You're double dipping. Your job is social media and helping people. Yeah, that's so, not smart no, at all. It's a pain in the ass. It's too much work. Yeah. It's like three jobs. Literally. All right, guys, switching up vehicles. We're going from fast handles well to slow doesn't handle well. So we're going with Jacob Davis in this thing, so it should be fun. I actually have not been in this, so this should be fun. Wow. Luxury at its finest. AC that doesn't work. Didn't yeah, work. blue still, line. It, it counts because it's, it's, it was there. There we go. That was nice. It has the wrong injectors in it. That's all right. It has the little picky things. Yeah. Shifter hitting the seat's pretty nice. It's yeah, no, it goes like in reverse. That's where you really get say, it. Yeah, look, look at that clearance. It's pretty nice. And then on the dash, yeah, that's even it's like better. a finger. So you can just barely nick your knuckle on the dash. You know, it's good. That's in 465 life. It's more of like a suggestion where the gears are. They're just kind of yeah. all over. Yeah. It's not fast. <laughs> it weighs like 7,000 pounds. I can feel that tire now. Yeah, I got a slip belt. Yeah. When you put 7,000 pounds on top of a regular all-terrain tire, yeah. eventually they get unhappy. Oh yeah, that happens. Hey, it's working. The cruise is good though. Oh, Sid, you've been here before. Oh yeah, the, we've done Bristol actually a couple times on Power Tour, and it's uh. You gotta see the drag strip. It's called Thunder Valley. It's a drag strip between two mountains. Ooh. And then the actual racetrack is like a Coliseum style, so you're in a bowl. Oh, wow. It's way different than any other That's like cool. race car, race tracks. And there's two very unique race tracks on the same property. That's cool. My favorite car. Yay! So this gets seriously loud when there's some top fuel cars in it. Yeah, so there's two mountains. They literally dug the drag strip into the mountains. The drag strip comes here. You have two top fuel cars in here. It's Thunder Valley. Yeah, that's cool. It's an amazing experience. Awesome. If you ever want to come to an NHRA race and be blown away, this is the one. All right. All right, guys, you can see Thunder Valley all the way back. It comes forward. You got the speedway. So that is, that's a NASCAR track. Yeah. The wow. Coliseum. Wow. It's like, it's crazy inside how steep the grandstands are. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, you can see they are very tall over there. Yeah, we're gonna try to get in the venue and actually get like a decent spot because last time we were all parking outside walking like three miles to get to the to the booth, so. Yeah, we're gonna try to go in there. Yeah, so. In the Coliseum. Yeah, inside of it. I was gonna say, this is one of those things you learn about power tours. When you wanna go where you wanna go, you just go. Just keep driving until somebody makes you stop. Yeah, and then keep going. So here we are going under the grandstand into the Coliseum that is Bristol. That is so cool. So is this where they did the dirt? Yeah. Uh, okay, now I know where I am. Got it. We're California up. boy, you don't know where I am half the time. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. So we're about to drive down the bank and it's like a 30 degree or something. Oh, yeah. 23 degree. Yeah. Hey, I found a rocker star standing on the side of the road. I heard. That's awesome, guys. What's up, man? Hey, everybody. It's two that everybody Those guys stuff. broke an FE. Oh, really? So your audience will appreciate oh, it. The broke rocker, a rocker shop. Told me that, yeah. They found a 63 <laughs> Galaxy <laughs> sitting. <laughs> oh goodness! Look at this! Oh my gosh! Yeah, the camera's not. Make sure your brakes well. work. Oh yeah, that's like. Here super. we are rolling into Bristol, baby. This is like a 23 degree bank, I believe, that we're about to go down. It's absolutely insane how it feels. Down into the Coliseum. Look at that! Final stop on our oh power tour. That is wild. Woo! Oh yeah, dude. So awesome. Badass. Hey. Hello, hello. This is sweet. What a sick venue. <laughs> Isn't that good, amazing? Good way to finish it off. I it helps think. to know where you're going so you can sneak in like we just did. Yeah, that's really good. I feel like the last day too, they're a little more lenient. Yeah, when you get here after three or after four, they generally play. there's nobody watching. Yeah. You can just go where you want. Nice. I didn't say that though. Yeah, no, didn't, didn't say that. No. 
All right, you guys, we're in Bristol. We finally made it. Met up with Solomon again. Hey, yo. What time did you get here? Like a while ago. Oh, yeah, so we're, we were a little What bit. happened to you guys? We were uh, in slow cars, to okay. say the least. But yeah. I was over it. Yeah, but look at this venue. This is crazy. Bristol, dirt track, everything. So the, the bank moments. Yeah. I mean, the bank on this track is absolutely insane. So just, just walking in here. I mean, look at the Jumbotron. That thing's crazy. So, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and walk on through here and get a plaque. We're gonna all walk back together. Oh, way to go. Thank you. There you go. Congratulations, wow. you've made it to the end. Thank, Thank you. It was so easy. <laughs> I mean, you you know, your car made it. You didn't break down with your car or truck. Yeah. You didn't have anything happen with your car or truck. Most of you didn't bring a car or truck. Well, it was a perfect power tour. 100% yeah. success rate. 100%. So it worked. There you go. <laughs> all right. Well, this is exciting. I remember we did this last year and it's like, you get your nerves are all going off. You're like, dude, was, it, it's so exciting getting this little plaque. And you're like, hey, I did it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm stoked. Wow, that is cool. Look at that. You doing, buddy? Official long hauler, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Finishing up in Bristol. Woo! My food buddy, Solomon. We I appreciate you. Heck yeah, man. Huh? So what are you doing? Two good guys come together, have a good time, go travel the country. It doesn't matter if your hot rod's not done. Get in a cool car, get something with wheels, and just go drive around the country with your buddies. If you're watching this now, get your truck built for Power Tour next year or whatever it is that you have. Doesn't you got, matter. You got 365 days. Yeah. Like, look. Let's show them. Like, there's some all, crappers here. Oh no! Like, a don't lot have of these. To have a, good a lot of these did not even run months ago, and they months just ago. Finished. A lot of these weren't even owned five days ago. Yeah. Even that. But you can go see all the way down this. It's just kind of everything from just, as, as far as this to as simple as some of the projects that have just like we were talking about just It'll get figured out just yeah. come I know Mike and his dad were building this thing they finished this well they were late to the start they were doing this two weeks before that started the whole series and they managed to get this thing done like the they were driving this from Ontario down to, from Canada on the Sunday when the venue started Monday and that was like over a day drive so they were pushing this as far as you could physically go and they showed up right on the money they showed up so if anyone's really really got to be proud it's, it's definitely Mike and his dad with the old car channel with this thing because this this car I can't even believe they made it with this, but either way, you guys can check out his channel. I'll have it down below, the old car channel on YouTube. Um, but yeah, stuff like that. So it doesn't matter what you drive. As long as you got something cool, grab some of your friends, take some time off work, use your vacation time to work your ass off and get out on power tour because it is the most amount of fun you'll ever have. So I want to put the camera down because I actually want to just kind of hang out with my friends and enjoy everyone that's here. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to check out the merchandise at 99speedcompany.com and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.